interested in purchasing an electric car, but you aren't too sure about the filling up part of it all? Well, tech life expert Jennifer Jolly is here. She's joining us from her very own garage. Hey, Jennifer, what do you have there? Well, I first have to tell you, this is the cleanest my garage has ever been, and it's all to show off the 2024 Ford Mustang Mach-E GT, all electric SUV. It has been so much easier to make the switch from gas to electric than I thought it would be. It gets nearly 300 miles on a full charge, goes zero to 60 in about three seconds. It is whisper quiet, but the best part of all, zero trips to the gas station. I now fuel up at home, which I've come to find out is basically what everyone who leases or buys one of these does these days. So gone are the days of range anxiety. It's just not a thing anymore. Yeah, tell us a little bit more about how Ford is trying to make it so much more affordable and make it easy for people to want to go out and get an electric car. Okay, people always ask me how easy is it to charge up at home and I have to say, watch this, it's this easy. It's basically the same as charging up your smartphone overnight. Uh, I set this to charge during off-peak hours. I, that runs me about $7 to fill it up. Uh, my gas car costs about $80 to uh, go from, you know, empty to a full tank. But get this, you asked about this part too. If you buy or lease any electric vehicle from Ford between now and January 1st, they're gonna throw in the Charge Station Pro. That's a top of the line retail 80 amp charger and they toss in standard installation. They pay for that as well. They're calling it the Ford Power Promise since where and how to charge is still really everyone's top concern when it comes to making the switch to all electric. It was my concern too. I live on an island and a few years ago when I reviewed uh, several electric cars, the public charging stations were either broken or it took a really long time. There were long lines. This completely uh, got me from sitting on the fence about it to making the leap to electric. It has been so incredibly convenient. Talk about the electric bill. You know, that's another cost that people may be concerned about. Will your electric bill go up pretty high having an electric vehicle in your home? Well, ours has gone up about $60 a month, depending on how much we drive. It's hard to nail down the exact savings of going electric because the cost of gas and electricity varies so much between states. But on average, you will save about $2,000 a year or about $35 a week. The Mach-E here gets the equivalent of about 91 miles per gallon. Well, awesome. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Well, if anyone wants more information, where can they find it? Go to Ford.com to find out about the promotion, getting the charging station between now and January 1st or to read more about my switch and my experience of going gas to electric go to techish.com all right well thank you so much we appreciate your time thank you